we no longer need code to extract text from files in Zapier. We're going to be leveraging a new tool here called Files by Zapier Integrations and see how we can start using it in our automation flows. As before, it took a ton of code in order to extract data from documents, but now we can do it with this new feature. Welcome back to Corbin AI, y'all. Today, we're going to be showing you a new little tool that is in Zapier's toolbox. If you want to learn everything about all the tools in Zapier's toolbox, go ahead and check out that video. We're going to go ahead and just show a real quick use case of this. This is super cool as if you're familiar with this channel, you know, in the past, we've done a ton of automations and it would always require this block of code because of the fact that we, there wasn't a reliable way to extract the specific text found in a Google doc, found in a PDF, found in whatever type of document you were dealing with. But now we have that solution. So it's going to create that together. In order to do so, we're going to use this test data here. I just loaded it up into a Google doc drive folder. It's just going to be a random house in Miami with this information. But before this tool existed, we had to use code to extract this text. But now let's go to use this new feature here. So I'm going to go to my zaps, I'm going to create a new zap here and just showcase this. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a trigger here, which is going to be a Google Drive folder. Basically, new file and folder just to showcase how we're going to extract this data. So I'm going to new file folder. I'm going to choose our specific courses account. I hit continue here again. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We'll go ahead and choose our folder here. It's going to be YouTube zaps. And then we're going to go ahead and a little bit further here, zap showcase. And we have our folder. All right, perfect. Continue, test this trigger and we're gonna have the file we play with. Now, as we know from the past, a big issue with these files is the fact, let me make sure I can find the right one, y'all, is this one. Is basically the text in that file is not shown from the, like this trigger. As you see, when we look for the text of that file, we just get a bunch of code. Let's go ahead and extract it. So to do so, we're gonna use this new tool here. I'm gonna type in file, and let's go to files by Zapier. I'm gonna do an event of, zoom in. <laughs> Go like this real quick, zoom in a little bit. We're gonna do an event of text from file. Hit continue here, and all we need to do is this. We're gonna simply put in file here. You can do a file exists but not shown. You want to do the file text exists but not shown. So as you see, that is that one right there. File text exists but not shown. We're gonna do an encoding of UTF-8. If you have issues, play around with it. This should be sufficient here. I'm gonna continue here. I'm gonna test this step, and we should get the text in that Google Doc. There you go, y'all. We got the text in that Google Doc. So now this kind of expediated a lot of previous processes that I showed on this channel. So when you're searching through my videos and you're watching videos, keep this in mind. This is a new feature. As you see, it's in beta. If you have, especially my PDF playlist or when we were creating an entire ebook through automation, these kind of playlists, we now have this tool. So you can supplement the code that I provided previously with this little new tool in that toolbox. As I said before, you should check out that other video I referenced at the beginning of this video as I show the importance of the toolbox and the ability to create really, really cool and complex automations. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. If you want to see more stuff of this nature, I'm going to leave a playlist at, at the end here where I'm diving into all 5,000 apps found on Zapier and showing you how to leverage artificial intelligence in every single one. But without further ado, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.